So, the magnificent Ferengi. This is also the other oddball episode we are doing. Uh, we have actually decided we're going to do a new thing uh, with with Trek Treks. We're actually going to take it in turns to decide the episodes because we've kind of been doing it in order with the odd diversion here or there. I think we decided like each week we say it's almost killed us. <laughs> it's nearly killed us, so we need some diversions. <laughs> we were committing to the bit for a long time, and then we're like, uh, you know what? Fuck this. We, we did watch our best some good Star Trek, please. Yes, um, we will so. watch them all. Like we'll be How sixty-five. Did survive. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good question. God forbid well, something Gene we love causes us so much pain. But anyway, we are on to the Magnificent Ferengi. So here is the trailer for the Magnificent Ferengi. They're cold-blooded. We'll all die! Ruthless. Killer. Invincible. We're finished! But is the Dominion ready for Quark? They won't! On the next Star Trek <laughs> Deep Space Nine. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh god. That's the best <laughs> Star Trek trailer ever. They're cold blooded. Let me watch that again. Okay. I want to watch that again. Let's watch that again. Hang on. They're cold blooded. We'll all die! Ruthless. Killer. Invincible. We're finished! But is the Dominion ready for Quark? On the next Star Trek Deep Space Nine. <laughs> oh my god, that's the best. <laughs> that's a trailer. That is so funny. That's incredible. That's incredible. Whoever cut that was having so much fun. They even got their Photoshop After Effects now just to make sure you got your proper like fonts out. So good. Dude, that is... I didn't think Star Trek was that self-aware, to be honest, but that's really <laughs> funny. <laughs> so, Obatai had picked this, right? Is there a particular reason you picked this episode? <laughs> no, I picked He said oh, you picked he, it. he brought a couple Ferengi episodes. I'm like, what about this one instead? And God bless him, he didn't fight me on it, so. <laughs> All right, no, also, why did you bring this one, then? <laughs> well, Obatai said Ferengi, seconds. that's why. <laughs> Yeah, my first suggestion in that vein was uh, the Negus, because that's only a couple episodes ahead oh, of where Negus. you guys are in Deep mm. Space Nine. And it's, it's not a bad episode. episode either. Yeah, yeah. So, But this one's magnificent, so... Well, I tell you what, we will have you uh, back on the show for that one, so... Oh, cool. I just realized chat couldn't hear that the audio for that, so my bad. <laughs> oh, I uh, it, we'll, we'll make sure you put it in post. I'll put it in post. That'll be in post. That's fine. Um... Uh, yeah, I'm pre-rating this a 10, because that is literally the best uh, Star Trek trailer I've ever seen. So, 10 out of 10. Sorry. Uh, stop. Yep. Um, <laughs> I am also probably going to pre-rate this a 10, um, because this is this is my favorite season of Star Trek. This is season 6 of DS9. This is a Ferengi episode. This is the kind of the peak of Ferengi episodes. This has... Mostly, little green man is up there yeah this has mostly b cast Ooh. like this has very little main cast it has it's mm. such a wild thing to do not just in star trek but in tv let's just take a lot of our non-main cast and throw them into a weird a weird mission with these kind of very stereotypical characters and iggy pop <laughs> for no reason. By the way, plays it the straightest of everyone in this episode. Yeah, yeah he's great. And we get weekend at Bernie's as well. Like, what? This is oh. so wild. I'm going to give it a ten as well because I don't think I'm going to be disappointed at all. Uh yeah. This is. Do we think easy this episode piece. could be a pilot? <laughs> <laughs> no, this for is a, a very so, different show. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this, this is like the Dirty Dozen, but like just the Star Trek edition. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for a pre-rating of ten because this is not an episode you could do on almost any I, any other Star Trek show. I don't think has the supporting cast to do this. Um, because wh who are our main characters in this episode? It's Quark, who is a main character. Mm -hmm. Rom, not a main character. Nog, yeah. not a main character. Nah, they aren't the, I don't believe they're in the main credits, so they don't count. Um, Gala, Brunt, uh, freaking like Moogie. I mean, Jeffrey Coombs is a main character but... in every Star Trek, so. <laughs> Which, by the way, like... I, I believe I read that. Yeah, all the Ferengi in Are... this episode have yeah. appeared before, so this yeah. is not. Yeah. These aren't really one-offs. Which you can only do in DS Nine. Like, there is no other Star mm. Trek that has put this much work into creating. Like this many disparate Ferengi personalities that I can say Brunt, and then any anyone who's seen this, I'm go oh yeah. Brunt. Oh, you mean the one with the moon? Uh, with you know, or like Gala with the oh, one with the moon? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's got his own moon. Like 
you know these characters because you've seen them and you know the performers. They are just they are burned into your brain. It's perfect. And Lek as well. I think like like Liquidator, if I recall. Eliminator. Yeah, yes, yeah. Eliminator. Like just yeah. Bronze the Liquidator. <sighs> They are so good. They are... Well, we're tired. Like... What are you pre-rating this? Uh, everyone else is doing it, and I want to be popular, so 10 out of 10. <laughs> wow, 10 is a Spot man, goal. you'll go far. Actually, actually, I think there is room for improvement. If they would have splashed out for the rights for the that little sting from Good, Bad, and the Ugly, da 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 I don't like know. I think, uh, yeah, that might have just gone a <laughs> bit too far into the camp. That better. No. <laughs> Dude, he runs into the wall. Are you kidding me? This is... <laughs> All right. Uh... Spool up your Paramount Pluses, your DVDs, your CD drives, your your zip discs, your, um, your Night Shadow DS9 releases you got from Pirate Bay back in 2002. Uh, we're about to launch this stuff. So we are going in five, four, three, two, one. Punch it. Maximum magnification. Yes. Star Trek, go now. Oh, look, your, your favorite um, Star Trek class in the back there, the, the Jaeger. Fuck the Jaeger class. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking abomination. <laughs> Dude, he's he's also got a very distinct walk as Quark. Mm. Hey, Lita. Yeah, I'm just looking at Lita. Mm. <laughs> Sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> sounds like an advert. Oh wait, it is. <laughs> oh. oh man. Because we've been watching early DS9 as well. Odo looks so mature here. <laughs> yeah. They're all locked in. <laughs> okay. That's our never get Yeah. <laughs> you never get every... to see them do this bit, yeah. I love it. Everyone is just enraptured by this story. <laughs> yeah. Actually, this is clever because I could believe this is how mm. he would figure it out. Mm -hmm. mm. I like that they're enraptured but have no lines. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, but Odo's in on it too. He's the mark. He's like he's the placed mark there, isn't he? <laughs> You've been watching too much wrestling. Come <laughs> 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 on, clap. Not enough Bajoran clapping. No. Oh. Oh. Like he's ordering around the Bajora militia. Wow. <laughs> They're all trying to find an excuse to leave. God damn these war heroes. <laughs> yeah, how dare they? that calls for <laughs> I'll let you tag it I could press a button but yeah I, 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 I'm, I'm laced back I'm relaxed I'm having a good time freaking cool it's funnier if I don't do it <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> Yeah, you know what they do have on Frank and Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Cerveza Cristal! Cerveza Cristal! Oh, look at the starships. <laughs> Gentlemen, yes, we're did. moments away from French horns. Ah, uh, we are. Hey, Rom! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god that is such an underrated Rob moment
I hate when they do the repeat what they mm-hmm. just said in three different sentences. All right, I'll rise for the national anthem. <laughs> Brace yourself. Here comes those French horns. Da, 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 da. Now I can all I can hear is the Galaxy Quest theme. <laughs> No, but do you know what I love? The underrated part is when you hear those little tss, the sizzles, and then the asteroid pans away, and you don't hear them, and it's that's mm. it's like you're there. It's like you're there, man. You're approaching DS9, and those horns are ushering <laughs> you in. Oh, this is the remix. Hold on, I gotta listen. Oh, the God, other beat yeah, drums. We're in season four? No, season six now. Yeah, the beat behind does not match the horns. It's so shit. Yeah, no, not good. No. Season one to three theme, thank you. <laughs> you freaking nerds. <laughs> it does well, they, had it. Add, they had to add the drums so Gene Roddenberry could take some of the royalties. <laughs> 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 it does Gene's kind of syncopate with the melody, though. Mm. There's the, the, uh, the best version is the one on the CD with the guitar solo in it. No, the best version is the baby or version, obviously. Oh, what? No, Sharp. <laughs> Sharp, no, they didn't. You, you believe me there for a for second. For a second, I, no, I don't know. Baby Metal probably would do a version of it. <laughs> His mistake was trusting you. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Never trust me. I'm a, I'm a known liar. Noted. <laughs> Uh, no, I think I prefer the drawing we had in uh, Pictionary of the wormhole. <laughs> yeah, Actually, yeah, that was probably my best Pictionary drawing to date. <laughs> I must go first. Yes. Well, shoot, as long as there's no danger, Cork will lead the charge. <laughs> this joke coming up is so random, but it's great. Oh, it's a Cisco thing, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Such a shame Cecily uh, Adams died young. I feel like that's the kind of lower decks pull they would do. Wow, when did she yeah. die? I actually didn't know that. 2004. Oh. <laughs> actually i like i forget the episode i like the moment where it's counting out he's like four bars for me one for you and then rom complains he goes five for me one for you <laughs> it's a real ebenezer scrooge bob cratchit dynamic. oh he really yeah. is yeah oh that's an episode they should have done they should have done like the ghost of christmas past with quark Oh, that would have been great. Her ears raised. Oh, God. <laughs> the idea of Vulcan plastic surgeons is sending me. Dude, this must suck for the actors, because that's not oh, yeah. easy on the knees. Mm. Garrett Wong has complained about it a lot on the yeah. Delta Flyers mm. podcast. <laughs> well, he didn't have that many Jeffrey's tube scenes. No. 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 <laughs> this is my favorite wrong moment. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the easy ten. <laughs> no, no forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> Not a report was filed, just... <laughs> he should have thrown his baseball at him. <laughs> it's another day on DS9. <laughs> Incredible. Brother. You gotta think, how fucking lost were they? That's right at the top of the station. <laughs> and just no alarm, nothing. Yeah, Yeah. no, <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Office. <laughs> I have to believe Quark would have transferred like so much illicit goods through the Jeffrey Stoops. He ought to know where they go. Mm-hmm. Mm. Ernie Guile. <laughs> yeah, <kind of. laughs> 
<laughs> you do have to spell out to Rom. <laughs> I would have loved it if he like stuck out his hand to shake on it and, and Cork just walked away from him. <laughs> oh, Nog. <laughs> you know, in some ways, Nog is, is even more serious than Worf. Yeah, in his way, yeah. yeah. Got more to prove. Mm. Yeah, she does. Enough. <laughs> Man, all right, Aaron. You were good. Me and the. <laughs> uh, I do love that I do love that little family such a good family mm -hmm. unit yeah he's got two dads brother Robin O'Brien oh brother this man is straight out of a western mm-hmm you're right. He's <laughs> <laughs> got a point. <clears throat> You'll get to kill someone. And it's a peak performance sequel. It kind of is, actually, yeah. <laughs> it's a good thing that was just a waste-up shot. <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying Quark is fully bricked up? Is that what you're saying over time? No, I think you're saying light was. <laughs> oh, okay. Look at Rom trying to act tough in the side. Actually, Gail is the one Ferengi who I find legitimately unsettling. Mm. Is what Quark would be without a moral compass. No hesitation. That's a rare flex from Quark. Mm. Yeah, you'd think Grilka was standing behind him. Mm. Grilka would see that and she want to throw it, like jump his bones right there. <laughs> the little, the little <laughs> fanciful music kicks in. Yeah. yeah. God damn, this is so good. Are they going to hold up five yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes, I do. Best part of any show is just like assembling the team. Yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say a team at the beginning. Mm. Riker in the last episode. <laughs> yeah, true. Your mission should you choose to accept it. Was he holding it upside down? Yes. Yeah. Oh my. <laughs> 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 I don't often see um, corks with the shutters closed. <laughs> Just when they're having a hearing.
There he is. There he is. I thought that was going to be Odo for a second. Oh, you can no longer say Brunt FCA? Yeah. yeah. Shame. <laughs> he's so on point. Mm -hmm. oh, he's always 110%. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ferengi heads from the back look so lewd. <laughs> That's why half of them have to wear that little head thing. <laughs> That's true, yeah. <laughs> Dude, I kind of want to see all these guys table read without the prosthetics oh, God, just do all the over the top like yeah. face acting. why have we not done this scene oh, we will point, yeah. Actually, yeah add that to the show. <clears throat> that do we'll just do a table read uh stream one of these days mm -hmm. i'm not gonna wait till may to do more of those hell no hell no mm -hmm. <laughs> a trailer shot Look at the cave with perfectly flat, wide floors. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Check Good old planet hell. <laughs> this is the best part. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> the shot. No, no, this guy, Lek. Here we go. <laughs> 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 Incredible. Yes. No one take that's my best moment. <laughs> <laughs> Put her out of her misery. <laughs> uh, that's funny. <laughs> that's a very good cut. <laughs> Brother. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm looking forward to the rating system for this one uh, I like that Rom gets this moment mm -hmm. yeah like change tactics every now and then he's a genuine genius oh no he's so good Rom is well for engineering like... absolutely yeah mm. he does good in lower decks as well yeah <laughs> I forgot how attracted I am to Nana Visitor. Dude, she's <laughs> smoke show. Mm -hmm. Kind of only gotten better with age as well. Mm. Oh, look at that. Don't see that shot often. I feel like it might be reused footage day. from. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 
We should have had Nog sit on someone's lap because they didn't have enough seats. What are they growling about? You get four bars of latinum for doing nothing. Yeah. And Puck, no. <laughs> hey, Kevin. <laughs> How do you feel like being a super <laughs> ca character in a terrible mobile game? This guy has sort of a Cillian Murphy quality about him. I know what you mean. A little bit, yeah. Um, On like bright blue chairs. Yeah, what if there's room to take a nap? Why are they all sitting so far forward? Yeah. Oh, that's how you know it's Empok. Yeah, yeah. Great shot. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Empok is DS9, but a little bit of 45 degrees. Oh, dude, that shot was great. The shuttle from behind mm -hmm. looks awesome. The little clouds in behind, it was good. Nog, remember when you were held hostage last time you were here? <laughs> yeah, remember all that trauma? That was great, wasn't it? Obviously, no one came back to, you know, turn on the lights. Yeah, this is a really, like, valuable source of salvage for... A whole freaking Cardassian space station, which you can move. <laughs> which you could use the spare parts for, for DS9, explaining the fact that it's always goddamn breaking. Yeah, you could have two of them next to each other by the Padron Wormhole. Mm -hmm. That would be good. When it gets attacked, they get confused on which one's the real one. <laughs> <laughs> Getting Star Trek Online flashbacks now. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh... And they're literally mercenaries. Come on. Yeah, like guys. And I'm pretty sure most soldiers don't work for free. Yeah, well, 24th century. The economics are different, the somewhat future. Fair enough. We're very quiet in this review, by the way. Mm, you know, it's a good episode. <laughs> We're tired, supposed to say his thoughts in chat instead of saying them out loud. <laughs> it's my comfort zone. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
So that alien with his balls and his knees from Undiscovered Country, I can't believe they didn't use him in anything else. <laughs> That's why you think that is that got wiped out. Yeah. They got wiped out because they were too vulnerable. Why are they? <laughs> They're all sleeping under blankets. On the floor. Yeah. <laughs> Should we just push him? Man, look at him go! Yeah, he's just crying it. Wow. Fucking cool <laughs> flash over here. There's 50 bars on the line. No, no, it's 20. <laughs> That's right. I miss. Yeah, yeah. Look, look how far ahead yeah. he is. That's qu fucking Quark Mo Farah there. Jesus, he's gonna catch up with Keevan and start dabbing. <laughs> the fact the Nog went the wrong direction. Oh, there's the plot, plot maker. Yeah, there's actually. Actually, that was kind of a cheap prop. The whole thing was like shaking when he was poking at it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's good. <laughs> I mean to the base camp. Please don't pull over the what? <laughs> I was hoping someone would pull over the barrel again. <laughs> God. This is such a farce. It's so good. It's, it's so this good. This is, right, this is an episode only a DS9 fan could enjoy, though. Yeah, I like... No, I think it's no, an episode that only DS9 of... could do. Uh, that too. It was Dude, these are like much. principles of comedy going back to the 1920s. Like, come on. You are true. You are true. This is very Laurel and Hardy and... Extremely. Guess what? Pratt balls are funny. Yeah, Qu Quark is Laurel and, and Odo is Hardy. No, Rom, Rom is Hardy. No, because Hardy's always done with his shit, so that would be Odo. Maybe Nog? No, no, no. Quark is Hardy. Rom is Laurel. So, Nog has this great allegiance to Starfleet, right? Yeah. Like, why would he agree to go on this mission? Well, because this is a great like practice for him. It's it, his it, duty, and he's essentially helping the war effort. Well, and he gets to be chief of operations or whatever mm -hmm. title Worf has. Yeah, Stop and not mission. This is a family matter. He does care about his family. That's true. And like. If like, Worf can get time off to, like, kill people and... Let's yeah, think about really. this. Like, Jadzia tense, gets time diplomatic... off to do the blood debt. A, a tense diplomatic, like, situation between, like, a leader of the the Ferengi and the Dominion and the Federation just like, yeah, we'll just send a ransom. It's fine. But it's a comedy, so... I probably wish he was out of uniform now. Mm. Brother, good luck, brother. <laughs> Dude, Kivan is such a nice inclusion here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ship. Out of danger. <laughs> Man, Iggy sounds so much high tempo than what I usually hear from us. Because he's a DJ on Radio 6. And he's... he's very <laughs> low.
Time to be heroes. They even got Best the hero music. <laughs> and I, there you go. I gave you the lot of the leg up. You're welcome. Yeah, this is the point where they should have played the good and the bad and the ugly music sting. Yeah. <laughs> See? Yeah, yeah, it really is. Yeah. Or they should have just had all three stand <laughs> side by side and pan one at a time and then like yeah, down yeah. to Nog, yeah. Yeah, look at this. It's total Western. Come on. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Bro, that's your mom. What the fuck? Oh my god. <laughs> You're going for a high five? What is that? Just showing he's not doing anything untoward. still have your psychic mind powers, right? <laughs> yeah, those things we totally remember they have. What's up with his cheeks, by the way? I just think he pop. Yeah. <laughs> it, it looks like he's permanently chewing on tobacco. Yeah, that's Iggy Pop. <laughs> it's it's surprising to see Iggy Pop with his top on. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a very different kind of water. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I forgot about this. <laughs> it gives her a grown uh, a worm grub. <laughs> 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 Those are the most feeble fists ever. That was so funny. Kind of a jarring cut. A little bit. <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, I bless the rage down on Frangano. <laughs> oh my god, how has no one made that song already? <laughs> I think they have, actually. <laughs> Was there like 200 words for rain? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Right now, it's lemoning out. <laughs> Overtired, you nerd. You belong here. <laughs> mm. 
your brother. <laughs> I love the this shot. This is a great shot. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Rom space. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. I like how he's like the redneck of Ferengi. Maybe if we're <laughs> if we surrender. Those guns look so... Those look like Galaxy Quest rifles. They, they really, really do. <laughs> this man is definitely dead. It's like a Renaissance painting. <laughs> yes. Oh, this this definitely is. I'm gonna. I, I don't normally horn in stars, but uh, how many thriller zombie Kivans out of ten? <laughs> <laughs> how many weekend at Bernie weekend at Kivans <laughs> out of ten? Who would have thought Spock's brain would get a sequel? <laughs> yeah. mm. Oh my god! You're so right. Yeah, it kind of is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my god, his profit motive is gone. You don't see uh, Vorta get upset too often. Mm -hmm. Sexual the friendly fire, though. <laughs> All right, Colombo.
I love the ongoing static on the screens in the background. <laughs> it's like the cable's out. <laughs> A little bit Gary Graham there. <laughs> Look on Nog's face. <laughs> I like this. Although, I gotta say, you know, Cecily's good in the role, but sometimes her voice sounds like she's just doing a Ferengi voice, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> good line, Reed. <laughs> D thriller zombie. <laughs> dun, 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 I love the slow realization here from Yelgren as it gets closer. <laughs> the little wave. <laughs> So is this before or after the episode where Worf controls Quark's body as he's fighting after. with the Batleth? Yeah, okay. definitely after. <laughs> oh my god, the X-Men key van is yeah. incredible at this. That's <laughs> 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 He's talking to you right now. <laughs> I like they just switch places as they're walking. Step a step over. <laughs> Dude, get out of there. Yeah, run. The music thing's going. Yeah. Nice lick. Some say he's still there walking into a wall to this day. Oh. <laughs> Wait, they didn't shoot Iggy, did they? No, that's the Jimadar. That, that's that's the actually joy of this. They they get away with it and they get another prisoner. Mm. So is this the best guest star by someone who's already popular? I gotta look up famous mm. Star Trek guest stars. <laughs> to be revisited on Star Trek Online. Oh, well, maybe Stephen Hawking is close. Mm. Well, Kelsey Grammer, but that's a real short one. Yeah, I think this might be the best. Hero. <laughs> Brother. Yeah. <laughs> Rami's goofy from the Goofy movie, right? Yeah, pretty much. Mm -hmm. Why could they tousle their lobes instead of their hair? <laughs> no, you're not wrong. He's there. Forever. Good pan. Who, who's the director on this? Oh, you'll get Tell that. Body just deteriorates. <laughs> yeah, no, it's a skeleton walking into a wall. Until the batteries expire, the oh, yeah. skeleton evaporates. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay. Yeah, I could, I could do the wee One second. And then, oh, I better turn the time code off in case. Alright, we'll be back in a second for the review!